a very warm welcome to all of you and to our audience online as well. My name is Sharon Teo. I am the Head of Communications for Siemens in ASEAN. Thank you for joining us today. It is a very special day for us, for Siemens, and for Siemens in Singapore. Today, we are going to be making a significant announcement for, um, and a signing ceremony. Last year, Siemens celebrated our 115th anniversary globally. This year in Singapore, we are celebrating 115 years of Siemens in Singapore. That's a very long history by any account. How did we manage to stay for so long to be relevant and to be competitive during all this time? It's by constantly reviewing, adjusting, renewing our strategies, innovating and investing into our future. To tell us more about how we are investing our future today, I would like to invite our President and CEO, Dr. Roland Bush, on stage. Roland, please. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to be here today. It's a special day. It's a great day for Siemens, and I think it's a great day for Singapore too. Today, we live in a time of extraordinary opportunities, a time of growth and innovation with a new focus on resilience, a time of change, a time in which every business and every company wants to become more digital and more sustainable. This is the age of digitalization, the age in which hardware and software are being combined this is the area in which we can build efficiency into the DNA of everything with technology. To make factories smart enough to use fewer raw materials and less energy. To make manufacturing agile, flexible and fast. To make buildings smart enough to know which rooms to heat and which one to cool and when. To make an electric grid smart enough to balance itself when power is being fed from all sides. To make existing rail networks smart enough to handle 30% more trains without building a new line. And to make those trains smart enough to get repaired even before they fail. It is an area in which technology makes it possible to track and reduce the carbon emission in our supply chain. This is the age when humanity can make everything smart to make everything better. And we need to do if we are to cope with urbanization and the population growth, if we are to manage climate change and rising living standards at the same time. This is why we need technology, because we combine the real and the digital worlds. We can make our customers more competitive, more resilient, and more sustainable. We have the technology to do all that. So this is why Siemens is presenting a two billion investment strategy to boost further growth, innovation, and resilience. We are ramping up global investment in new factories, new research labs, and new training facilities in Asia, in Europe and in the Americas this year. In addition, Siemens is increasing its R&D spending this year by an expected 500 million to more than 6 billion euros to develop the best software and the best hardware and the most innovative offerings. We are investing in artificial intelligence and digital twins to shape the industrial metaverse, as well as supporting the global development of Siemens Accelerator. This is our open digital business platform. This wave of investment is supported by our record order backlog, and it reflects our confidence in the future. Our expectation of strong and rising demand for digitalization technology worldwide. We see it in all our industrial businesses and across the regions. And this is why Siemens invest, is investing close to customers to serve the demand wherever we see it. Around 
200 million of the global investment announcement today will be in a new high-tech digital factory in Singapore, a factory to make automation and digitalization products for South Asia, a region with exceptionally fast growth rates. The plant will set a new standard for connectivity to showcase the possibilities of digitalization and highly automated manufacturing. And as a part of our investment strategy, Siemens will also expand its digital factory in Chengdu to serve the local growth opportunities in China, for China, investing 140 million euros. China is a key market for new technologies, which is why we, also, we will also create a new digital R&D innovation center in Shenzhen to speed up development of motion control systems with digitalization and power electronics technology. We live in a time where technology is driving transformation and sustainability, a time of extraordinary opportunities. That is why we are investing now. At the heart of the digital transformation, at the heart of that what we do at Siemens lies technology. Our strategy can be summed up in one sentence. Siemens combines the real and the digital worlds. We combine hardware and software to achieve more with less. And we do that all around the world. One way in which we do that is with digital twins. Digital twin, twin technology is at the core of the industrial metaverse. We are using it here in Singapore by first creating our new factory in a virtual world we can optimize the planning and the construction. Working with AI shortens the planning process by as much as 20%. It can save us months. The new plant will be built with software solutions from Siemens accelerators such as plant simulation and NNX software. And it will also use scalable, modular, and collaborative equipment of the kind designed for Siemens Accelerator. Once it's completed, the plant will be fully automated and produce our best-selling Simatic programmable logic controllers used to digitalize factory equipment. It will be linked to other factories to ensure a high level of collaboration and flexibility in production. And it will be a front runner in converting production lines from single product to multi-product. Modular software solutions will ensure easy scalability and future growth. The new plant in Singapore will become one of four highly automated factories working together as one, with agile production methods to fill orders from around the world as efficiently as possible. Its digital twin will be used to optimize output, making it 20% more productive than the factories of the past. So let me talk for a moment about the long partnership that Siemens binds to Singapore. This year, Siemens is celebrating 115th anniversary here, 115 remarkable years. In that time, this nation with no natural resources, except the intellect, intellect and strong will of its people has gone from third world to first world. Singapore is a lighthouse of stability a smart nation with a highly educated workforce. Globally connected, Singapore is a hub, the perfect hub to serve Southeast Asia, a region of extraordinary dynamism and growth. The new factory Siemens is building here is a local investment to serve a strong region in a world that is digitalizing. Its products will support growth in the batteries, semiconductors and electronics industries. And it will be a significant milestone for Siemens Singapore for the region. And I can tell you, we don't open any, any day a uh, new plant. This is something exceptional. So I want to say thank you. Thank you to the government of Singapore and the Economic Development Board. Thank you for many years of strong partnership and collaboration for making our investments here a success and for making the decision to invest here quite easy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, today is a really special day. It's not every day that Siemens announces two billion of global investment, an additional 500 million in spending in R&D, and a new plant in Singapore. We are investing locally in markets where we see accelerating growth. This has been our strategy for years. We call it globalization, acting locally with the world in mind. And its success is reflected in the balance of our regional revenues. Siemens is rapidly growing technology, as a rapidly growing technology company, helping customers to achieve their goals in an age of digitalization. Today's investments here in Singapore will serve rapidly growing markets in countries such as Indonesia, Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, and India. While our investment in Jing2 will serve the fast growing demand for digitalization technologies in China. Earlier this year, we expanded production in the Czech Republic to boost capacity in Hamburg, Germany, a plant that the World Economic Forum recently named a global sustainable lighthouse. And in March, we announced a 200 million euro investment in a new rolling stock factory in North Carolina to meet growing demand for passenger trains in the United States. Our global strategy and the two billion investments announced today included investment in Siemens Healthineers. And you can be sure that additional investments will be announced in the weeks and months ahead in Europe and in the United States. Stay tuned. Together, they will reinforce our strategy of high value growth and help our customers to become more competitive, resilient, and sustainable by combining the real and the digital worlds to improve the lives of billions of people. Thank you very much. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You've just watched the digital twin of the factory that we plan to build in Singapore. For such a huge investment and something so important, we need reliable partners to support us. So today we are going to be signing a memorandum of understanding with two very important partners who will help us to work out and facilitate this, the establishment of this new plant in Singapore. I would now like to invite the following to come on stage for the signing of the MOU. First, Mr. Lim Tzu Yong, Senior Vice President and Head of Mobility, Industrial and Conglomerates Economic Development Board. <laughs> Dr. Tai Lai Pham, CEO of Siemens ASEAN. <laughs> and Mr. Liao Tiam Singh, Group Director, Industry. Cluster Group, JTC Corporation. I would also like to invite the following to join us on stage to witness the signing of the MOU. Ms. Jacqueline Poe, Managing Director of the Singapore Economic Development Board. Dr. Roland Bush, 
President and CEO of Siemens AG, and Dr. Ro Norbert Rieder, German Ambassador to Singapore. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. For our online audience, we've come to the end of our live streaming. Thank you for joining us. We will be sharing the link to the press release of today's announcement on Siemens.com, on LinkedIn, of course, and on all our social media. Please continue to follow us at Siemens. <laughs>